Praised be Jesus and Mary. Our Lord tells the people of his hometown that the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled in their hearing. And it remains fulfilled in our hearing as well. We are the ones who uh, Jesus came to set free. The captives that need liberty, the ones who are oppressed and who seek freedom. Uh, you know, this is precisely why he came, you know, to set us free from our sinfulness so that uh, we'll be able to uh, worship God you know, in spirit and in truth. Um, and like the people of Nazareth, you know, many today refuse to fully accept the message that he preached because the message that he preaches isn't necessarily an easy one. St. John reminds us that uh, we're commanded to love God you know, because he loves us. He sent his own son into the world. You know, that's what we heard yesterday. But now he tells us that uh, whoever hates his brother does not love God. Now, you know, at this point, uh, there's not a few of us who might uh, have to start getting a little bit worried because uh, most of us probably carry some resentment um, in our hearts, you know, some kind of difficulty with another person. And although we insist that uh, we still love God, you know, even though we don't particularly like uh, this or, or that individual, you know, in other words, we love God, but we don't want to do everything we're commanded to do. Well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do uh, what's comfortable, but uh, not what's demanding, you know, just like uh, the people of Nazareth. Uh, you know, we're amazed at our Lord's words, but then, you know, we find ways to rationalize our way around them because uh, we don't really want them. Um, they're beautiful, you know, if we uh, look at them objectively, but uh, they're very demanding when we look at them subjectively. And so, you know, we sit back and we come up with all kinds of excuses like, uh, well, you know, uh, that's just an idea, a goal, but it's not very realistic. Um, Jesus doesn't really expect that of us. Uh, well, you know, I don't know. St. John tells us that uh, it is a commandment. No, not just an ideal. Uh, it's not just some uh, pie in the sky sort of uh, goal, you know, that our Lord's throwing out there. Uh, it is a commandment, and we are uh, required to follow it. You know, that's what uh, He's asking of us. So, you know, if there's anything we're holding in our hearts against another person. We need to forgive. It doesn't mean to say that uh, we need to suggest what they did was okay. It means you know, we need to let it go. We need to be free of the, the shackles, you know, that are holding us bound because of our unforgiveness. 
we need to find the, the liberty that Christ came to give. Now, if we find that we don't really want to grow in holiness, that we, we don't really want to do his will, um, then we need to look at our faith. If we proclaim faith in Jesus Christ, we need to put it into practice um, to live what we profess, you know, to do what he has told us to do. That's the challenge that's uh, laid out before us. Not simply to marvel you know, at our Lord's words and, and be attracted uh, to them from a distance, but uh, to accept them into our hearts and to put them into practice so that we will truly love God and, and all those around us. May God bless you and Mary keep you.